Anakam, welcome back to Jalprayag. I had uh, started solving one of the MMD question papers. Uh, the last video was uh, completion of question number one. So now I'm going to uh, help you solving question number two. So let us start off with uh, question number two. You can see the title I marked it part two and Q2. Uh, I'm highlighting what is that question. I'm going to rephrase this question because uh, it may not be very clear when you're uh, uh, sets in which you're using maybe the phone and all. So I'm again uh, rewriting that question. Let us read, read uh, what is the problem. A vessel is steering a course of 2602, observes Polan Sodra Grand light bearing 010 at 4 o'clock. Again, the same lighthouse at 5 o'clock bore 040 degree true. At 6.15, a different lighthouse would keep on bearing 351. If the current during this whole uh, problem was setting towards 300, find the following. They want vessels position at 4 o'clock and 6.15, the first and last bearing. They want the CMG and SMG, and then they want the rate of the current. Uh, if you look at the top notes of this paper, you will see he's provided you with engine speed 12 knots, which I'm going to use in this question. Now, let us quickly analyze this concept. Uh, to be honest, uh, I've not made a, a video of this particular concept, as I said in the last video. Barring a few of them, uh, I've made most of the concepts and this one is actually missing. But still, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem. And uh, later on, I'll make the concept also. If you realize, he has given you multiple lights and uh, the bearings are at different times, which tells me that it is a running fix. Okay. And uh, the set is given, that means the direction of the current is given. Uh, if you analyze, since I have not given you, uh, uh, not made a video regarding, uh, regarding the concepts, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to tell you that it is a fish trap or uh, it is also called as dancing lines. This is the concept. Let us look at how to solve the problem. Uh, later on, uh, when I'm free, I'll make a concept video also, which will make you understand better. Right now, let us look at the steps. Okay. He's asking me to find the position, CMG and SMG rate. Now, uh, for the concept of running fix using PL, uh, I'll uh, let you know which is the video because you need to use that. So uh, I'll be using that concept here. So in case anyone has missed that video, uh, please visit Jalprayag and uh, check on the playlist. Go for chart work and running fix. And it is video number 17. This talks about running fix using a position line. Uh, please have a look. Why? Because since I'm not going to talk about the concepts here, you need to know about this concept. Let us look at the two lighthouses. You can see one on the right hand top is the Ola and uh, Sodra Grand. And on the left side is the Utlipan light. I've highlighted it. I'm going to remove it soon. But let us look at the question how to start. I'm going to start by drawing the PL or the bearing, which is given to me at four o'clock. Then from the same lighthouse, the PL2 is given at five o'clock, which is one hour. Then at 6.15, it is given to me from Clipper Light. This is the question. I, since I told you it's a fish trap question, let us see what, is, what are the steps. I'm going to uh, run four o'clock PL in the forward direction up to one hour so that I can reference it with the middle bearing, which is your PL2. Similarly, I'm going to run backwards from 6.15 for one hour, 15 minutes, again to come and meet at five o'clock. This is, uh, this is my job. Now, uh, as far as the concept of running fix is concerned, I can start uh, running from the first lighthouse itself. I can do that. That is why I'm showing you a line, which is the course steered given to you in the question. And I'm going to cut the engine speed for one hour, then only I can come from four o'clock to five o'clock. This is the procedure. As I said, let us look at the procedure. So the moment I make uh, 
this CTS line for one hour, I'm going to transfer my first PL, which is four o'clock, to this point, and I'm going to call it transferred PL for one hour. So that means it is coming in matching with the five o'clock PL. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the last PL, the third PL. I'm going to reverse run with the same course to steer, but this time engine speed for one hour, 15 minutes. So I get that point. So here also I'm going to transfer back the 615 PL. So this is your transferred 615 PL. And you can see that these two transferred PLs, which are referring, uh, referencing to five o'clock, they meet at a point. I call that junction as echo. This is an important point. I call that junction as echo. Okay. So this is the first part of the question. What I have done is I've just uh, transferred or uh, run uh, my first PL forward to five o'clock. I have run the last PL reverse to five o'clock. This is what I've done. So we have done uh, the first part of your question. Now, let us look at the next step. I'm going to choose uh, a point A to start the question. Okay. I'm going to choose a point A on the, to start the question. The choosing of point A is also uh, has got a method. As I said, I'm not looking at the concept now. I'm going to look only at the procedure I've chosen at the point A. Let me tell you, I could have chosen this point A on that first lighthouse also, which is your Oland Sodra. I could have chosen there also and done this problem. It's nothing wrong. As far as the PL concept is a running fix is concerned, I can choose my alpha, which is my first start point. I can choose it anyway on my first PL. So I've chosen that. I'm going to rerun again for the same CTS. Obviously, it is going to come and hit at the same transferred PL. But this time, I'm going to start naming them. So I call this Charlie. Okay. Now, from Charlie, what I'm going to do is, if a set is given to you in the question, is already given to you, please draw the set from Charlie. Only the direction, not the strength. There is no strength. I don't know the strength also. So from Charlie, wherever this uh, set, uh, if I am right, is 300. Zero, zero. It comes and touches the second transferred PL. There were two transferred PLs. Charlie is in the first one. The current, wherever it comes, the set, wherever it comes and hits it, I call that as hotel. And I marked the set with triple arrow, which is your normal chartwork uh, symbol. So I put it. Now what I'm going to do is, from hotel, I'm going to again rerun my course steered, just the way I did for Alpha Charlie. I'm going to rerun my course steered, and obviously it will be the same engine speed, which is already there, what you can see from the Oatflippen light. It's going to be exactly the same. But this time I'm going to start naming them, and I call it India. So all, all I've done is, Alpha Charlie is a CTS engine speed for one hour. Charlie Hotel is only the set without any duration. Then Hotel India is again one hour, 15 minutes a run of my CTS and engine speed. This is what I've done. Now I'm going to join Alpha in India. I've joined Alpha in India. And you can see this Alpha in India is coming and intersecting the blue color line, which is Charlie Hotel, the current line, which is Charlie Hotel. And this point is also important. I call that Juliet. Okay. So I call this Juliet. My next step is to join Juliet and Echo. I'm going to join Juliet and Echo, and it is also called as virtual ratio line. Now, what I'm going to do is the subsequent part of the question, I'm going to show you in a piece of paper. Why? Because I, I need to show you in a larger scale. This scale becomes smaller, small when you try to uh, solve it on the chart. I'm going to show you exactly the same thing on a piece of paper, which is your uh, PPT itself, the blanks, uh, blank PPT. I'm going to show you a little bit expanded with a better resolution. Let me show you that. Exactly the same thing. This was the first PL. This was the second PL. The third PL. I had done uh, uh, transferred PL first, then transferred PLs, the last one transferred PL. And uh, then I had taken alpha, then I had drawn the CTS then put the set and 
when I joined Alpha in India, I had got an intersection point called Juliet. Then what I did was I joined Juliet and Echo and I found out the virtual ratio. Now, why I've expanded, I want to show you a place which is more important than what I have drawn on the top. This virtual ratio line is intersecting the five o'clock PL at one place. That place is called Kilo. This is where I wanted to expand. And that is the reason I've drawn this half diagram. I've not shown you the full diagram, half diagram. I'm going to continue back to the chart once I do it. It'll be easy for you to understand because this is with a bigger resolution. So I got a kilo. And uh, the good news is this kilo is a fix, which is your five o'clock fix. As I said, let us not go into the concept and all this. This is what is the procedure. I already got five o'clock fix. The moment I get a fix, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the blue color line, which is on the top, which was actually Charlie Hotel. I'm going to transfer that same 300 and I'm going to put it on this kilo. So you will see it'll go like this. All I've done is I've drawn a line called 300, which is the set on to kilo. Now this set intersects the two orange color lines, which are your transferred PLs at two points. So let me show you that. I'm going to mark this as set. This is the direction of the set. I'm going to call this Lima and I'm going to call this Mike. Now, the most important thing for you to understand is this Lima and Mike is the complete set and the drift from four o'clock to 6.15, which is two hours, 15 minutes. This is very important. Please uh, remember this. The Lima and Mike the direction of 300 was given to me in the question, but the distance, what you measure in nautical miles is the current, which is the drift for two hours, 15 minutes for the full question that is four o'clock to 6.50. Okay, please remember this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a triangle. Now, now uh, uh, you can see already the set is there. Now, if you go by your allowing or contracting method, whatever you want to call it, I have uh, three sides of the triangle. Again, you can go back to the concepts of uh, uh, simple basic uh, chart work triangle, which are there in the videos. So uh, for me, I have a CTS, I have a current, and then I have a CMG. So what I've done is I've taken Lima as the reference, but I still remember for the first one hour, I'm going to still do the same course given to me in the question. So what I've drawn is I've drawn the same uh, CTS, which was already there. And I call this as November. So November Lima is the CTS and engine speed for one hour, which is 0400 to 0500. If I have one hour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Lima in kilo, the blue color line, the Lima in kilo is also the current for one hour. So that means I can join November and Kilo as the CMG. The moment CMG comes, we all have been again, again, uh, I've been mentioning that CMG always passes through the fix. And the moment you get CMG, you can extend it to any side. You can reverse extend it before November. You can extend it further beyond your Kilo also. So that is what I've done. I've drawn a single straight line from November to Kilo and I've extended it. Now, this CMG, since CMG has got positions at all the places, CMG will have your positions. Your November is also your position at four o'clock. And the last point where it goes and intersects at 6.15 is called Oscar. That is also a fix. That is also a fix, which is at 6.15. Now, what I've done is I've joined Mike and Oscar. The Mike and Oscar, again, if you remember, it is nothing but, again, the CTS for a CTS engine speed for one hour, 15 minutes. That means from 5 to 6.15. So this is the most important part of the whole question. And that is the reason I wanted to expand it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my chart. I'm going to show you. You will see the size is a little bit smaller. So that was the whole idea for me to show in a blank sheet of a PPT. So let me go to uh, the chart now. Yeah. Let me go to the chart. And uh, just before I go out, 
I'm going to show you this November kilo is actually four o'clock to five o'clock CNG SMG. This is one of the uh, questions they had asked you. They asked you what is CNG and SMG. SMG, please remember, is for one hour. That is why I've taken that one hour time. Okay. So let us go back to the chart. This is where we had stopped before I went to the piece of paper. So again, I'm going to recap. I found out a very important point called Juliet. That is the intersection of Alpha India with Charlie Hotel. I'm going to join Juliet and Echo. This was called the virtual ratio line. This virtual ratio line, wherever it intersects the PL2, which is your five o'clock PL, that point is a fix, it is called kilo. It is a five o'clock fix. The moment I get a fix, I'm going to transfer Charlie Hotel's direction. That is the set direction. I'm going to put it here. And this gave me two more points called Lima and Mike. Let me finish the first triangle, which is four to five. There are two uh, PLs are there, four to five. All I'm going to do is retrace my CTS. And I call that November. So November Lima is my first CTS which is for one hour, engine speed one hour. If I join November Kilo, please remember that is your four o'clock to five o'clock CNG and SMG. And the moment I get CNG, which is passing through the fix, I can extend it further. So when I extend it further, I get Oscar. I can finish off the one hour, 15 minute triangle also, five o'clock to 6.15, which is your mic and Oscar. So I've completed the whole question. So he's asking me the fix November. He's asking me the fix Oscar in the question. He's asking me what is your CMG SMG that I found out from November kilo. And then he's asking me the rate. Please remember your Lima and Mike is a drift for two or 15 minutes. Find the distance, convert it for 60 minutes. That is what is your rate. So let us look at the answers. Okay. I'm showing you the symbols also before I leave. So let us look at the answer. Uh, there's a concept called supporting and opposing, which should be decided using your PL1 and PL3. As I said, I'm not uh, talking about the concepts. I will later on make a video with concept, you'll understand better. So I'm not, uh, you know, those people who know about this can figure it out. The four o'clock position is uh, mentioned here. 615 position is mentioned here. The CMG and SMG are mentioned here. And then find the drift and then convert it to rate and you got the answer. So this is the end of uh, the question, which was uh, a fish trap. Uh, as I said, I, I didn't uh, want to concentrate on the concept. I was uh, more based on the solution. I've done the solution. I hope this helps you. I'm going to soon make uh, a concept of uh, fish trap a little bit later. But uh, right now, my aim is to go for the third question, which is on your uh, exam, MMD exam question paper. I'll go to the third one, and then I'll come uh, with a video of solution for that also. Uh, keep watching Jal Prayag. Uh, until then, uh, Varakam, Namaste, Namaskar.